Hello friends and welcome to Edupedia World videos. In this section, we are going to do a practical exercise on formatted output in C language. Okay, so let, let us write our program. In this program, I will be using certain integer variables. So let us write that as num1 equal to say 100. Okay, num2, I will store this value as 1000. And then num3, I will write it as 98765. So it is 5 digits. And uh, one more, num4. Now this will be having a value of, say, 1 digit. num4 is equal to 1. So although here I have declared all the variables in the same declaration statement, this is not a good programming practice, so you should avoid it and use separate statements for separate variables. I have just done it to show that you can declare all the variables in a same statement provided your data type is same. Okay, now I will try uh, and print these variables on the screen. Okay, first we will do it without any formatting. So I want to create a table on the screen. So this table, what this will do is it will print the variables after first line will contain the headers and second line will contain variable name and their values. So headers would be var name. Okay, this is the first header. Then after some space, say four spaces, have the value. Okay. Now on the next line, I have printf. Now see, observe one thing that in the first line I have not specified any format specifier. So that means that I do not want to give any variable value inside that line. So that is another option. So this is only printing the constant string on the screen. But I need to print a new line after this line. So I have used the backslash n character. Okay, now in the second line I will print variable first, which is the name of the variable num1. And then one, two, three, four, four spaces I have included after this variable. So I have include four spaces, assuming that it will fall on the same lines as the above headers. Let us see this is true or not. So num1 and then the value has to be put. So num1. Similarly, we will make the printf statements for four variables. Okay, so num2, 3 and 4 and replace the variable names to num2, 3 and 4. Now let us see the output of this program. First just save this then compile it and then run it. So there is some error in the statement and uh, what is it saying? It is saying that I have put a instead of commas I have put the semicolons over it. So here so you have to remember that semicolons terminate a statement but if you want to include multiple variables declared in the same declaration statement then you have to use commas. Okay, now I will compile it. First I will save it, then I will build it and then I will run it. So, okay, now it has executed and since I have not included any new line in the other printf statements, so it has all printed in the same line. So you have to include new lines to format your output as you want to be. So here is where you learn the use of new line backslash ba sequence, uh, escape sequence. Okay, now I will save it again and build it and run it. Now you can see that after this program runs, just wait for my antivirus to stop analyzing, finish analyzing this program. Okay, so now this has run. Although it is falling in line, all the number variables are in single line and all the output is in single line yet it is not looking proper formatted and moreover see there is a mismatch with the column of values so I want that value should be printed over here but it, they are like this printing haphazardly now suppose my all the variable lengths are same I am not seeing any problem over there suppose I change these lengths and instead of num1 my first variable is say age Okay, my second variable is say salary. Okay, 
and my third variable is say mobile number okay and say my fourth variable is house number okay so suppose my variables are that way and that is how I will print it on the screen also so this would be age this would be salary this would be mobile number and this would be house number and the heading let us replace that to particulars okay now let us save this build it and run it so there is some error again in my statement so that is why I did not get built what is the error it is that my variable names cannot include any white spaces okay so this was just to remind you that variable valid variables in C should not contain any white spaces or any other special character other than underscore so okay I will have underscores over here and save it but here as we are printing only the constant string so we can have anything maybe a space maybe anything and over here we have to replace the actual variable names instead of num1 num2 num3 so here we put our actual variables we substitute our actual variables like this now let us save it and build it are we getting any error no so now we can execute it okay so now see how much of a missing synchronization is over here all the values are falling under different vertical scope okay so vertically they should be aligned but they are not aligned because the width of the variable names or width of the particulars are not same so to overcome this problem what we can do is we will calculate the width of widest word that is printed in that particular column so here in first column it is particulars the word is particulars which is widest one and if we calculate the number of characters is 3, 3, 6 and then 3 so it is 11 characters okay and over here in the variables the highest length is 5 okay so now what we'll do for our particulars we will instead of this what we will do is we will do it like this we will do percentage 11 s so we have to give our string also over here after the comma so we can give a constant string argument and the name it is age so percentage 11 s over here means that it will be printed in 11 spaces it will take 11 spaces and here we want to take 5 spaces similarly for salary also we instead of salary being specified over here we have to specify it over here like percentage 11 s and then in single quotation marks we have to specify salary same thing we will do with all the other variables also so here we have percentage 11 s and here we have mobile number and on the next line we will replace this by percentage 11 s and have a constant string house number over here now let us save this program and uh, compile it so it is compiled without any errors now let us see the output okay so all the output is now well formatted there is okay so we have forgotten to format these variables just include percentage 5d over here and that should do our work so if you execute it it will be like particulars then okay we did not compile our code sorry so after compilation you should see that it is now well in line all the digits are formatted and they are placed one after the other okay now one more thing that we can do over here is instead of this four spaces we can also have tab so we know that tab is given by this 
escape sequence first backslash and then t similarly here we can replace all the spaces by t backslash t so we compile this program and then we run this code and now you can see that it is even more straight the output is even more formatted it is looking better so now suppose we want to substitute the spaces in uh, our uh, digits by zero so we just have to write zero before our inside our format specifiers just before our width okay here we have written zero now we save it and we compile the code and execute the code so now we expect that it will be padded by zero so all the digits which are less than five characters in length are padded by zero okay and this digit which is already five characters in length is not padded so that is a small example of formatting our variables we have learned how to format them in particular widths we have also learned how to use padding digits for formatting our output so i hope you understood the concepts shown in this video and thank you for watching the course basics of programming in c language